Hello, beautiful Libra souls. Thank you guys for joining me here and welcome to my table. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into your message here, Libra. It's good to see you. I've missed you guys. I'm um, looking at your information, your energy here in meditation prior, and then we'll go into the cards as we do. Um, I'll be honest, Libra, this was kind of, I mean, it is a weird feeling. There's a weird feeling to this message here for you guys. I actually channeled messages um, several days ago, um, kind of do them in, in chunks per week for the signs at this point. And yours was the only one that nothing was coming through on. And I had, well, there was one thing that came through, but I was told to to strike it from the record here, coming back and looking at your energy today. It's just been very tricky to really nail down a specific message or energy, to be honest with you, because there's it feels like there is um, a lot of anger, to be honest. Um, something may not be going right or something is is coming up or there's a struggle. You guys are, are dealing with some emotions from the past. Um, I kind of get the vibe here that there is, uh, and I don't want to sound dramatic about this at all. It feels like there is an energy that is trying to get you, not really from a mischief place, but trying to get you to misunderstand something or not see something correctly and it could very well be your own ego okay there could be um there could be energies or entities that may be working to make this message more difficult for you guys that's where i'm kind of saying like i don't want to be dramatic like well there's a demon after you because that's not what i'm saying um <laughs> it just i'm just telling you what i'm experiencing um, and it's been really tricky to nail down the energy of this message. I was given a symbol as well, and I have never taken so much time on trying to receive the instructions from one of these sigils before. So I was given the symbol, I was given the title of it and the instruction, but for the life of me, the function is not coming through. So because of that, I'm not going to show the symbol to you guys, at least right now. I did write it all out, but um, I'm kind of getting the feeling that there might be something in this message that fills in the spaces here, because I don't want to give you guys something that I don't even know what it's what it's supposed to do. So maybe we'll find out together, okay? Um, all that prefacing aside, though, um, I did get the image of a rancid waterfall. <laughs> it's very pleasant. Uh, like sewage, something coming down this water that is not drinkable, it's not habitable, it's poisonous, and um, like coming out of a pipe. So this murky water, again, this like uh, difficulty in pulling out a message, okay? So I I did pull a couple of Oracle cards here prior. We'll go over that. But for the most part, you guys, I really want to get into this message because... Um, the Gemini in me, the Virgo in me, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't really like going in, uh, this blind, I guess. And it's not like a, it's not like a, something feels weird. Okay. Something feels weird. So let's get into it. Um, with the Urban Crow Oracle deck, we're going to start with here. So you guys got two cards, Freedom and Wrath. Freedom and Wrath. Hmm. Um, so to start with Freedom, Freedom actually kind of, Freedom <laughs> flew in here upside down. Um, that's telling me that there's something going on freedom wise for you. Like what, what do you consider freedom? Where do you need more freedom in your life? Is what this card is asking where, yeah. Where do you need more freedom? Is there, uh, is there something that is making you feel constricted? Is there something that is restricting your movement um and again like i said this doesn't feel it doesn't necessarily feel like an entity outside of yourself for some of you it could be you know um but it feels like it could be misconstrued as an entity outside of yourself like when our ego <laughs> and other various parts of our psyche step in and interact with us um, we can very much take that as something that's happening outside of ourselves. Not saying that sometimes things don't happen outside of ourselves, but this is feeling like something is something is producing that toxic water is trying to make things murky for you right now. So 
back to the freedom here coming in coming in in reverse i feel like your freedom in some way is blocked or is feeling blocked you may be feeling constrained trapped so with wrath coming through here too it's an interesting combination 515 on the timer there as well so wrath is um anger okay but it takes it to the next level and adds revenge to it as well so this card encourages you to question if this is you where you're in a place where you're experiencing wrath um the example they give in the book too is like these crows have their baby one of their babies is stolen by a raccoon and eaten or killed and so they all come with wrath to take care of this raccoon there is a, a natural flow to if you want to call it like divine raid you know anger has a place and this isn't saying that what you're feeling if this is you is wrong it's encouraging you to ask yourself some critical questions is the behavior that you're participating in right now because of those emotions ultimately leading you to a positive outcome for yourself if you want to go further with that is it leading to a positive outcome with others as well hmm? I feel like only you can decide that, right? But uh, there is an encouragement to to think about it, okay? So with both of those coming through and the rest of the message so far, it it kind of, I get this weird dance, like, um, like a relationship is kind of coming up as an example. So we'll give it, we'll give it as an example. Like one day or a week, you're like, oh, I really like this relationship and it's really going swell and I feel great. And then out of nowhere for a week or a couple days, you're just like, I really hate this human being. <laughs> um, and there is a natural ebb and flow with relationships, but this is just making me feel like there's this intense energy that's feeling random even if you're paying attention to it that's coming up. And um, it's either coming through as a distraction for you to not see the main message or that is the message in the form of a distraction. It's trying to um to rock you so that you see what's going on okay let's uh let's keep going here <laughs> let's see when the hail is going on for libra so let's pull an animal spirit oracle card for i'm getting two okay pull two for libra what's going on for libra can we get some more <laughs> some clarity some more clarity can we get just a little bit of clarity please at the there's three here how many do you want me to take the top two okay they haven't flipped, so I don't know what these are yet. Uh, okay, bat and zebra come through here. Interesting. So with the bat, um, there's this energy of seeing in the dark, <laughs> seeing through the dark, seeing in the dark, waiting for the dawn. Um, like there's a vision. And when I take that in the dark, that's like your unconscious realm. Uh, whatever is coming up here, this very much feels like this is your sight to see that, whatever is going on. With the zebra coming through here too, it gives me a, a note of creativity. So there's a request here to see something creatively. Okay, let's get further into this, you guys. Um, did we want to do a mudra card? No, okay. Every other sign's gotten a mudra card, so you guys aren't getting it. I don't know what's going on here for you guys, Libra, but um, let me pull two of these. Okay, we'll start here with this, and then we'll get into the tarot here. Um, two messages for Libra at this time regarding the site, being creative. What's going on here? Help me out here, spirit. Okay, flying out. Communicate, receive, and express the truth. 911 there on the timer too. That's interesting. Um, when 911 comes through, I get like, like here in North America, it's the emergency line uh, for emergency services. So there is this factor of help with communicate, receive, and express the troop, truth. The truth. Oh my goodness. So troop and truce there at the same time. Interesting. <laughs> Um, there may be something that you need to communicate or that somebody is trying to communicate with you. This feels, this feels like whatever this entity is, this additional energy inside of you, possibly outside of you is working to communicate with you. Moving on endings that bring healthy beginnings is the other one that came through. 
Okay, so I feel there's something that is, I feel like this was a part of your message last month too, or in the all signs that I did a couple weeks ago. Um, like something was coming up that needed to be trauma, uh, that needed to be addressed. Okay, let's, let's get into this, you guys. <laughs> so Phantasma deck here for you to start. What's going on for Libra, please, Spirit? Help me out here. Six of Pentacles at the split. Um, so you're given take energy. It feels like, yeah, it feels like there's something stunting. How do you, how do I explain that, Spirit? Yeah, that's a, that's a weird one. Like there's an invader of some sort. Something has made its way into your system, energetically, physically that's affecting the original function of the system, like sand and gears. Um, could be like an illness for some of you. It feels definitely more energetic though, like something has happened and it's creating, you're having difficulty taking advantage of the original function of your system, whatever that means. Okay. Let's keep going for Libra here. <laughs> Huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, you can hit the join button um, next to the subscribe button under this video. I do have three tiers available, so you can check those out if you'd like. Um, personal readings are open and available as well. You can check out my website in the description of this video. So um, the emperor here at the bottom, this is your hope, hopes and dreams. So hopes and dreams with the emperor... I feel like yeah, there's something, there's something, this is a weird one, you guys. I have not really encountered this energy at all um, yet. <laughs> so um, the emperor represents like power, control, being present, the divine masculine, taking action. As far as your hope goes, whatever the sand and the mechanism is this is taking or has taken power away from you. It feels like it's, it's well, yeah, not being able to utilize the full function of the machine. Like you've been losing um, mileage, gas mileage in your, in your car as time goes on. That's interesting. You're hoping to have that back. You're hoping to have your full power, full control over that power too, or access to that power. Okay. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Let's keep going. What else do we have here for Libra? Libra, right? Yeah, Libra. Ace of Wands at the split there. So um, energy again, your passion, creativity, like something is preventing you from starting, starting something again or starting something, period. Um, and this is a general message, you guys. Oh, this is the Murder of Crows Tarot as well. Devil here at the split also. Um, general message, so please keep that in mind. You are intelligent, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. Leave the rest behind. And check out your other placements in your chart if you'd like. We do have every sign in our chart if you'd like a more complete picture of what's going on for you. Um, so <laughs> the Hierophant here at, at the bottom, uh, this is your fear, fear aversion. Kind of moved lighting around, so I'm trying to, don't mind me, making changes. Um, the devil there, though, something in the shadow, something feeling oppressive. Um, with the Hierophant coming through as your fear, this is um, like taking a higher spiritual path. I feel like the, the fear, anxiety, mostly, though, is continuing to do the same thing that you've been doing. This is a really interesting energy, you guys, because it's not, it's almost like you're not fully aware that this energy is either popping up or what in the hell it's here for. Kind of like that symbol, like what is the function? I've got every other description or understanding of what's going on, but I don't know what it's doing. Um, or maybe you don't know what you're doing. I'm just going through the motions on something and I'm wondering why am I doing this? Let's look into this, you guys. Um, so general to start, you have four of swords. So 
um, some sort of damage to the heart, some pain. Okay. Four of Swords is resting, recharging. Respite. It is, um, you know, taking care of, of wounds, licking your wounds, so to speak. So it feels like there's something that has happened. I don't know what point in your history, but this definitely feels like it's well embedded if it's something that is is difficult for you to determine what it's doing here. Um, it feels like there is a lack of faith or trust in your life when it comes to justice is what's standing out. Interesting. Like there's something that, I don't know. I don't even know if this is for all of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> but there's something that um, like you've pushed down. I see this little bandaid here on the polar bear. You've pushed down so far or haven't even allowed yourself to analyze outside of the initial experience, whatever was hurt, taken from you. Maybe you hurt somebody. Maybe there's a combination of both, lost somebody, a relationship ended, etc. Um, it feels like you're stuck in this, this moment of healing, but what's missing from healing here is the faith that you can heal or that there are forces that are, are governing healing. The universe is conspiring in your favor. I think it's different, you know, it's a different extreme for different people, but it, it feels like you're, Like you're waiting for the next um, foot to drop, so to speak, on something. And this doesn't feel like it's a conscious energy. This, Like I said, this is really bizarre, you guys. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Yes. So this clarifying the Four of Swords here. This is your fear, anxiety. Mourning is a part of this, too. This is kind of along the same lines of like not having um oh interesting what i'm getting i'm being drawn to the moving on component here with the nine of swords we're experiencing something that is painful indeed there is fear um something maybe we're even having nightmares at night waking up into that same nightmare it's not really ended the thing with the nine of swords though is we can move from wherever there is this pain that's being caused, but it's not painful enough that we're moving. Does that make sense? Um, and with communicate too, there's something, yeah, there's something that you need to express. What? And it may not be to somebody else. This may, this may be a component of yourself that's coming up that's like, hello, <laughs> I've tried every other way <laughs> to contact you at this point. You're not listening. So, um, yeah, they're sending shadows in your dreams. Interesting. This feels very much like it's your own demon, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. I don't, I don't feel like it's a demon, but mm, like the demon on your back, it's getting there. Okay. <laughs> this is something that needs to be taken care of. Okay. Let's go a little bit further. So good stuff for you guys right now. You have three of pentacles. Um, yeah, I do feel very much that this is, this is something that you're being encouraged to see squarely. This is recognition and success and working with others. A counselor could be really helpful right now. If you're not seeing a counselor, if you are, I'm getting, um, interesting, more listening, less talking. So they're all kind of talking and listening at the same time here. And this draws me back to the bat too. If you are in counseling right now, I'm getting like, there's, there's a message that's coming through from your counselor that's dead on. It could be coming from somebody else outside of a counselor, but that's just what came to me first. More listening, less talking. These could be components of yourself too. Hmm. If you're not meditating already, I highly encourage you guys to start. Um, Meditation is the portion of experience where we are receiving. We're opening ourselves up to receive information, to listen. Um, praying is asking or requesting for things that are wanted or needed. 
Meditating is listening for that answer, okay? That's the communication. Mmm, okay, so maybe that's the communication. I'm really getting like, <laughs> I did that for Leo's title. Um, Spirit's been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty, right? <laughs> Um, and you're needing to go 2020 as well. Vision, perfect 2020 vision. Interesting. I feel like we're getting closer, you guys. Okay. Um, you're being asked to listen hard. Like the answer to the question that you're not even realizing you need to ask is coming into you. Some of you may be aware that there is an issue with something coming up, but it feels as confusing as this has been for me to pull this energy. I would wager that... It's not any more clear for you um, in the way that you're experiencing it. Okay, let's keep going. So four of pentacles comes out here with the three of pentacles, three to four. Um, this does make me feel like you're being moved into a place where there is more security. This is your safety or security. Oh, interesting. So, okay. One of the notes of this card or one of the requests here is to not get too tightly, uh, not to grip too tightly to those things that we feel safe or secure around because that actually starts interrupting the flow of things moving in and out of our lives. That six of pentacles. Um, what this is telling me is that what is trying to be heard is connected to whatever it is that you feel connected to as far as safety and security. Is there something right now where you are over clinging to it, you know, um, and you're not even aware of food, water, shelter, um, resources, money, you know what I mean? Wherever you're feeling that there is an over clinging right now, this is where there's, you're being asked to listen to. This is very much being highlighted and supported for you. And that starts bringing you back closer to whatever this entity is coming forward. I feel like entity, what that doesn't even sound quite right to me either. It's like a, I see like um, like Tefiti in in Moana. She is um, that anger, the wrath portion. The heart's been taken from her. So this is kind of what it feels like. From you guys, this is like your tefiti. And you're being shown where to find the heart. Interesting, you guys. Got some chills on that. Okay, let's keep going. Um, so what's in the... <laughs> okay, I totally said this. What's in the dark or what you don't see coming here? And this is your card. Justice. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I said that I said that in the beginning regarding justice. So something something is coming into balance. Whatever this energy is coming up inside of you is demanding this balance. That very tefiti. I'm gonna get my heart, okay? Um I like I like to see this. It feels like you guys are getting to a point where you're recognizing what's going on here, especially with the owl on this deck. Like you're finding that wisdom to see where, okay, to see where you can allow balance to come in. Because this feels like there are some like locks and keys set up emotionally, this flow of energy that's going through you to keep you feeling safe and secure, whatever the cause of the need for the Four of Swords, the rest was for, or was. Um, you're being shown where you are restricting that own flow to like naturally heal itself. Interesting. But being in the dark or the underlying message here, this is all about you finding this justice, this, this balance. And I don't feel like it's about, um, you know, you may not see balance happen in your life. This is the energies inside of you feeling level. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, King of Pentacles comes through here too. Um, fairness is something that is really coming through. Interesting. Generosity. The um, the King of Pentacles, though, is abundant. 
So for some of you, there could be, that's interesting. If you are going through anything legal right now, I'd love to see that combination. King of Pentacles with justice. I, I definitely see something moving in your favor and possibly having a bit of money attached to that too. So, uh, and this is a situation where that, that balance was always demanded. I don't know. Um, I don't, that's not for everybody, obviously, but for those of you that it does apply to. Yeah, it feels like getting out of, getting out of your own way here, that moving on is standing out again. Okay, let's dig a little bit deeper into this. What is the challenge or obstacle that's going on for you guys at this time? Nine of Cups. Interesting. So Nine of Cups is um, like wish fulfilled, your personal satisfaction. Grace, that's interesting too. It can symbolize like childbirth. Um, some of you may be having a hard time with a child right now or getting pregnant. It feels more like there was, I think this is your, your, the first wish you would ask the genie is kind of what I'm feeling. Something where you, you feel like a dream or a wish that you had when you were younger is just permanently done. There's no possibility for that. And that could be in, you know, this person or event that happened that you may be trying to avoid, I feel like is connected to this also. You will have wishes again, though. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, nine of Cups. <laughs> oh, my God. So, two Nine of Cups, you guys. Eighteen of Cups. Um, interesting. Yeah, there's something about your personal desire towards something, starting a new path of some sort. That Ace of Wands is standing out again here too. Being creative in some way. Um, maybe you really like to sing as a lighter example, but maybe you really like to sing and somebody told you you're crap. And so, you know, you just stop singing and maybe you're not crap. Maybe they were just having a bad day and it was just the perfect storm that you really took that on as truth. And you kind of let that ruin your own dream. Does that make sense? What I'm feeling from this is the obstacle, the challenge that you're having right now into moving wherever this happiness is that the nine of the 18 of cups is talking about. Um, there's a need for you to experience it as if it's already happened, just like any other manifestation that we're working towards. Somebody really took the wind out of your sails towards whatever this wish or hope or dream is. And that's why this, <laughs> both of these are in the obstacle right now. You're having a hard time tapping into that imagination, that creativity. Interesting. That freedom. Whatever that freedom looks like for you. You have to know that this abundance is available for you, though, or this wish fulfilled, whatever this is. You have to know that it, it can come true because it can. But you're being asked to see this energy that's coming up here first. Okay, let's do, do we want, this feels incomplete to me. I'm going to move into a, an extended here, but do we want another Oracle card, Spirit? Which deck? I don't even have that deck open. Okay, Blue Angel Oracle. Well, let's see. Let's see, Libra. What's going on? So we'll close this off with a Blue Angel Oracle card, and then I'll move into the extended portion if you guys want to join me there. What is going on here, Libra? Let me get a final message here surrounding what it is that they're doing. Grace and gratitude. I said grace too, didn't I? Okay, I'm going to read this from the book for you guys. 
Grace and gratitude, release. So moving on as well, interesting. <laughs> Changing these lights around has got me all, all discombobulated. Release frustration and anger and express the love and light that you truly are. You are a beautiful soul, a beautiful friend, loved by so many. Why cloud this love? Let the real you shine through. Be grateful for your life and the many blessings you receive each day. Gratitude will lead you to peace and peace will lead you to abundance and joy. Focus on the good in your life and everything else will fall into place. Beyond thought, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge, a knowing that does not divide nor keep one truth from another. Within this knowing, you will find all that you thought you were missing. Within this knowing, you will rediscover your beautiful soul. I breathe out all my frustration and anger and breathe in the light and love of my soul. In peace, there is wisdom. I am peace. I am wisdom all as well. Okay, so uh, yeah, feels very much like there is whatever has happened, whatever the impetus for this energy being created was, there's a healthy dose of truth communicating with yourself, but grace, either just for you or for other people in a situation. It's really important for you to release this. There's too much good stuff that's waiting for you, okay, Libra? All right. I love you guys. I'm going to move into the extended portion now. So if you want to join me there, there are links in the description of this video. Again, I do have readings open and available if you want to check those out. In the extended, we're going to go over direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you based on your current thoughts and emotions. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description if you guys feel called to tip or donate. I truly appreciate it and it helps the channel a whole heck of a heap. Um, not mandatory, but I, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much to those who have supported the channel in that way. So Libra, please take care of yourself. I love you and I'll see you all soon. Be well.